We got nine minutes of Jedi Survivor gameplay on Tuesday, and one of the things that really stood out to me while I was watching Cal explore Kobo was the amazing new user interface that we have for this game. So let's talk about it. The first major thing that caught my eye is this cool display down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I'm assuming this relates to the D-pad on the controller, up being stems, right and left being your different types of sabers that you can select and change between, and down being your BD-1 vision. In addition, I noticed that this BD-1 vision icon will change when you go past something BD-1 wants to scan, so you can hit down to scan enemies and items to get more XP. You also have your health bar down here, which is very similar to the HUD from the first game. When you toggle the BD-1 vision, or as they call it, bd noculars, by pushing down on the D-pad, this changes the way that this display looks. This changes the down on the D-pad from the BD-1 vision to going back to your saber selection, and you can still access the stims here by clicking up. The next cool thing that we see for the UI is the map that BD-1 brings up. The map we see here seems very similar to the one from the first game, where you can maneuver between different levels using the up and down on the D-pad. You can also see what planets you're on in the percentage of completion at the top of the screen, and also maneuver to the galaxy map, which I cannot wait to see what that holds. You can also see the name of your specific location and the percentage explored for that one. This is very similar to the first game. Something new that I'm really excited about are these new beacons, a way to mark different spots on the map that you want to remember to go to. With five different ones to place, I wonder if these will last forever or if they're only gonna stay per trip to planet. But let's keep talking about the heads-up display, specifically the bottom. This part of the HUD seems to be entirely for force and endurance from blocking. The top gray bar is for your endurance, it goes down every shot you block slash deflect. The blue bar is your force bar, and it seems to work very similarly to the last game. The bottom gold section is new. This is how you use the new time slow field power. Once it's full, you can click down on the left and right stick to use your ultimate ability. I'm curious to see if we'll only have this one or if there will be multiple abilities we can learn and choose from throughout the game. Now on to the top. This seems to be very similar to the first game other than the new icon on the left, which shows how many skill points you have to spend and your level number now showing up on the right hand side of the bar. All of the user interface that we've seen so far seems really intuitive and clean, and so I can't wait to see what the other menu screens look like as we get more pictures and videos of the game, or maybe even waiting until April 28th when the game releases. So what is your favorite part of the new user interface? Let me know down in the comments, and please subscribe if you want more information about Jedi Survivor as we move through this amazing time with all of the new content that's being released. Thank you for watching, may the force be with you, Goodbye.